Hi, I'm Matt with McCulley's Golf Cars in Crossville, Tennessee, full service golf cart shop. And today we're gonna start a series on how to tune up your 2004 Club Car DS. So the first video in our series, we're gonna teach you how to check your air filters and fuel filters in the Club Car DS. Okay, here's a quick tip. Anytime you're working on a club car, especially on the, on the club car DS, there's a yellow switch right here. See, when this is in neutral, you push the gas and it will not go, nothing happens, okay? But when you're working on it, you don't want it to drive off on you. So you can turn that over 180 degrees and this pushes up that switch. So even in neutral, you can push the accelerator and test out your engine. Don't forget to switch it back when you're done though or when you put it in drive, it will not drive. Okay, when taking your old air filter off, you will have to remove this part of the hose. First, just take a pair of channel locks and squeeze that clamp and then you can take it right off the box there. Okay, these little clips, just pop them loose just like that. And you, it's hinged on the back. All you gotta do is lift it up and pull the old filter out. Okay, this filter we actually already changed out on this cart, so I'm gonna put it right back in, but you would take your new clean filter and stick it right in there. Make sure it sits nice inside the lip. Push it back down. Pop your clips in there. Of course, you don't have to rotate it here on the carburetor. I just did that so you can see it better. And pop the holes back on and your air filter is good to go. Okay, now we're gonna change out the fuel filters. Now this is where a, a cup, a plastic cup or something would come in handy because when you take these old filters off, it is gonna spill some gas out a little bit. So, all you gotta do is take a pair of pliers and these little clamps, they just squeeze together, slide them down the hose. And I'm gonna have this ready. As soon as we pull this loose, it will. Drain out a little bit of gas. After you get your old one out, all you gotta do is take your new one, and uh, a lot of times there'll be a little arrow indicating the direction that you're supposed to do this, but, uh, and stick that right in the old hose. Make sure it's in there good. All right, and then slide your clamps right back up the line. After we finish with this one, we just move to the next one and repeat the same steps. All right, once again, there's an indicator which way the fuel should flow. Don't forget to put your clamps back. And there we go, we've successfully installed new fuel filters on Club Car DS. 
All right, for the second video in our series, it's gonna be a short video showing you how to check and change your spark plug, as well as a little bit of information to tell whether it's fouled or, or running too lean. All right, so to change out your spark plug, you're gonna, right here, just pull this loose. And here, you will need a 13 16 spark plug socket. Make sure it slides on there and just shouldn't take a lot of tension. All right, see, that one is a little bit black. All right, actually earlier, I gave you the wrong number. Um, I pulled the wrong spark plug for this job. It's actually the BP4ES spark plug. But anyway, so we're gonna take the new spark plug and make sure it threads in very easy. If not, you, don't, you really don't wanna cross the threads on the spark plug. So you should be able to screw it in a really good ways just with your fingers. All right, and once it's hand tight, you don't wanna to go too tight on a spark plug. Just a quarter to half a turn should be good. Then you're gonna put the cap back on and we should be good to go. All right, third video in our series. We are gonna show you how to check your oil as well as change your oil, where the filter is and where, the, where you need to drain it out and what kind of oil you need to put in your golf cart to re refill the oil. All right, to change the oil in your Club Car DS, a few things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a oil filter wrench. It's good to have a good clean funnel, not to make a mess, a new oil filter, and it's always good to have something to drain your used oil into from the bottom of the golf cart. Now, normally we would go through this, but this oil has already been changed in this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk you through the steps. Um, first of all, right here is the dipstick. This is where you're gonna check your oil, uh, check your oil level. Um, I mean, as you can see, we've got nice, good, clean oil in there, and it's right up to that full, full mark. Um, and that's where you want it to be when you're done with this process. Okay. Now, the bolt that you'll take take loose, you'll have to you'll have to raise the cart up um, and put it on jack stands. The bolt is right down in the front of the motor, and there's a hole in the bottom of this pan, and we'll show a picture. Uh, of that along with this video to show you exactly what we're talking about. And then right here is your oil filter. And what I'm gonna do, just so you can see, if you've not done this before, take this off here for just a second. All right, get that out of our way. Uh, this is how you use one of these here. You just loosen it up, where you can slip it around and then you snug it pull it tight and then you would just crank it down counterclockwise to loosen up this oil filter now you won't remove the oil filter until you let all the oil drain from the oil plug at the front of the motor first and then you'll remove the oil filter now when you get ready to put your replacement filter on, it's always good to get a little bit of oil um, and wet that, uh, that gasket there with the oil before you screw on the new filter. After your new filter is installed, what you're going to do, um, of course you'd replace the plug at the bottom of the motor before you do that. Um, you'll Remove your dipstick, and of course, use a funnel, and then you would fill it to the appropriate level on your dipstick with good, 
new motor oil as suggested in your owner's manual. And make sure you properly dispose of the used motor oil and, and that's it. That's how you change the oil in a Club Car DS. Hey, this is Matthew again with McCulley's Golf Cars in Crossville, Tennessee. Today I'm going to show you how to put a starter generator belt on your 04 Club Car DS. Uh, first of all, to change out the starter generator, starter generator belt, you will need a 916 socket and a 916 wrench. Um, the space, especially behind the, the, the tension nut, is uh, very small, so I use a quarter inch drive. Uh, you may also need something to pry, like either a little bar like this or a flathead screwdriver to get the drive belt off. Uh, and then, of course, you will need your new premium starter generator belt. All right, in removing your drive belt, I recommend I use my left hand back where the driven clutch is. I recommend putting a glove on because you can pinch your fingers and it, it can take some skin off. Hurts, hurts pretty bad. All right, so first of all, you're going to use the rotation. Um, it's good to put it in neutral so this is not making your rear wheels turn. You're going to use the rotation of the, the belt to help it roll off of the rear clutch. So you pull to the side as you, on this first, on the front belt, you just kind of rotate it back. It can be kind of difficult at first. But once you get it tight and it's kind of up on the edge of it, this is where the screwdriver comes in handy. You can stick it in here beside the belt. All right, I'm gonna let it sit there so you can see how it is up against the side of the rear clutch okay and now with it right there you keep rotating just give it a little bit of a pry and rotate it can be difficult to get it to rotate with it so tight you can also sometimes pry from underneath like this All right, and you'll feel it once it finally gets passed and you can kind of work your screwdriver out and then just kind of slowly work it around. Don't try to rush it or you will pinch your hand. Okay. All right, so we'll slide that out. Now this is a good belt. Uh, when you do, anytime you take your belt off though, you wanna check it for cracks and, uh, and see if you need to replace this too. It'd be a good time to. Now on the starter generator, we've got two bolts right here and here that we need to loosen so that it can, it can slide up and down in the adjusting bracket here. This is where the 9 16 wrench and sockets will come in handy. Now, these do not have to be removed, they just need to be loosened. Sometimes it helps to have different lengths. Okay, now the bolt to adjust this on this bracket here it's just got a nut on the back side so you don't have to get your wrench up in there now if you don't have a rear seat on this access 
port here gives you really good access to the back side of that bolt but we do so it's, it's a little bit more cumbersome but once that's loosened you just kind of give it a little bit of a wiggle and there it slides down the adjustment bracket and this belt should just come right off okay you see the reason this one was brought in was because the uh, the starter generator belt wouldn't even turn the motor see how skinny this one is compared to a new one it had just it's just too worn out it's not too cracked or anything like that it is coming apart a little bit but it's just it's just reached the end of its life okay so next step, we're gonna put the new one on. We just go right over the drive clutch and then on top of the big pulley here, it goes right in the groove. And then there's a pulley. I don't know if you guys can see it really well, but it's right at the top of the starter generator that you'll line it up with, okay? Now, the next part, we've got to set up for a little bit. There is a specific tool that you use to crank this down, but we're gonna show you a uh, kind of a DIY tactic to do this because most people don't have the tool. Okay. All right. So what we have here, we have just a regular uh, strap, like a ratchet strap, but we don't need the ratchet part for this, okay? Um, we're gonna go with the hook end down through that access port, and we're gonna go to the back side of the starter generator. Now, you're gonna have to, let me take this off because I can't fit my hand in there. All right, we're gonna have to go around the back side Make sure we don't squish any wires, like go underneath the wires that are on the starter generator. Pull the hook around once again. We're not gonna wrap this around the starter generator and hook it to itself because there are some wires on top of it that we don't want to uh, move or, or or damage so instead we're gonna come up here and if you have a back seat you can hook it right to the back seat lip if you don't you can hook it to the bottom of your um, sweater basket all right so this part is a good part to um, to have the help of a friend actually hey Tom you mind uh, giving us a hand here So it doesn't require a lot of tension. Basically, we're just going to pull up, keep it, keep it tight, have a friend hold it, and then we're going to get to the back of this bolt here again and uh, tighten the nut on the back of the adjusting uh, bracket. Let's do it finger tight. Okay, yeah, that's actually a half inch, sorry. Once that bolt on the adjustment bracket is tightened, you should be able to let loose on the strap. Let's make sure it's tight. Let loose, Tom.
All right, once our uh, starter generator belt is reinstalled, then we're gonna take the drive belt, slip it down and over the drive clutch, and then putting it back on is a whole lot easier. Basically, we're just gonna push it in that groove and roll it over. We just keep rolling until it pops right back on. All right, and uh, that's how we install a starter generator belt on a club car DS.